Hi folks and welcome to this quick start guide for Zoom video conferencing. This is specifically for parents and students of Buckinghamshire Music Trust teachers and we're going to be focusing on how to download and install Zoom and then what settings to adjust to make sure that you get the best quality audio for, uh, for your lesson. Okay. There are two different ways to use Zoom and there are actually three different device types that you can use Zoom on. So quickly to go over those. So the two different ways to use Zoom is you either use their app or you stream it directly through your browser. Now, word of warning, please do not use streaming through your browser. Install the app. The quality of sound that when streaming through your browser is far, far inferior to when using the app directly. Um, so you really must use the app to have the best experience during your lesson. So don't please ignore the streaming through browser only through the app. So with the app, you've got three different options as well. You can install it on your laptop or MacBook. You can install it on your phone or you can install it on your tablet. Your tablet and your phone while will work really, really well for a general conversation over Zoom. They don't work so well for an instrumental lesson. They don't have the, all the features and the settings that we're going to need to have the best experience possible. So a laptop or a MacBook is absolutely the way to go. Now, if you don't have a laptop or MacBook, then of course uh, your, your iPad, your iPhone or similar will, will, will make that work. However, if you do have a MacBook or a laptop, that's the one that you need to use. So the first thing we're going to do is to download and install the application. To do this, we can go open up any web browser and we're going to go to the zoom.us website and hit enter. And we're not going to sign up today. All we're going to do is download the app because that's all we actually need to do to get onto our meetings. So we're going to go up here to resources, download Zoom client. Don't worry about the other options that they're showing you here. The one that we want is at the very top and it's called Zoom Client for Meetings. If you're on a Mac or a Windows machine, this is going to should be able to detect what you're on and will automatically give you the right option. So I'm on a Mac here and I've only got one download button. So it knows that I'm on a Mac and it will give me the right software. So I'm going to click on that and that's going to download to wherever anything you normally download off the internet is, um, is put on your computer. So for me, I have a specific downloads folder on my Mac. And so that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to open up Finder here. And there, there it is, zoom.pkg. That's just the type of um, installation package for Mac. If you're on Windows, it might be .exe. Okay, so I'm going to double click on that. And I'm gonna, you, all you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions like you would for any other installation. So I'm gonna skip forward on this bit. Okay, so that's all installed. And on my Mac, it automatically launched Zoom for me. Um, if you're on Windows, it may do that. It may not. If it doesn't, you just need to go to your start menu and find the Zoom uh, application and run that. So when you launch Zoom, you're going to get join a meeting or sign in. But before we do anything else, we're going to go up to zoom.us and preferences. OK, I'm going to set some audio settings up here. And this may be under file on Windows or also under zoom.us. Just have a look around and find preferences. You will then be faced with the audio section of settings. And what you need to do is to select your speaker, how you're going to hear your teacher, and you click on the drop down and select what is right for you. It may well be that you're simply using these speakers on your laptop, in which case you select that. If you do select that, you can then select the output volume as well. I'm actually using an interface, a focus right interface, so I'm going to select that in this instance. And then what you want to do is hit test speaker. and we get some little sound playing back just to make sure that you can hear it and you know that the audio that will come back later will be correct. You want to also select your microphone. I've got my interface selected here because that's where the microphone I'm speaking into now is connected. 
but it may also be that you're using your your laptop microphone the inbuilt one so if so you select that okay uh, i'm going to leave it on um, my interface for now just one other quick note if you do select your microphone um, for the inbuilt one you would then select the input volume for that you want to make sure that you're seeing the the level go up to around around three quarters of the way up and that includes while you're playing your instrument as well okay so get it to about there and you'll be in good shape uh, right now i'm going to select the my interface so you can see right now that when i'm talking a little bit closer to the mic now i'm going about three quarters of the way up i'm happy with that that works quite well for me and then you want to test that too and so you hit test mic it's going to record your voice very quickly and then just play it back to make sure that you've it's recorded your voice so we're going to do that now testing testing one two three testing testing one two three and that played back just fine for me now the next bit you want to do is to untick this part here automatically adjust microphone volume now in normal circumstances if you're just having a conversation over zoom with someone that works very very well however when you're playing an instrument over zoom this can start fluctuating the volume quite significantly so if you're playing a quiet passage versus a louder passage it may adjust that and that's not not what we want we want to hear the articulation from the instrument so make sure that that is unticked okay moving down join audio by computer uh, when joining a meeting just keep that ticked and then we want to move to the advanced tab here and this one here show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone we want to make sure that that's ticked i'll show you how to select that within the meeting uh, but what this does it removes any processing that zoom might be adding to enhance the sound of your um, of your meeting now again for regular conversations this will work very very well but when we're playing an instrument that's that's not what we want we want to keep it as clean as we can so make sure that's ticked in this instance and we'll change that later in in the meeting moving down under audio processing we're going to start from the bottom echo cancellation you can leave that set to auto for now that's absolutely fine suppress intermittent background noise the options you've got are auto moderate aggressive and disable move this one to disable this is sort of some specific kind of background noise that gets picked up this will help your your instrument sound significantly and then we've got suppress persistent background noise again auto moderate aggressive and disable are options for now you can leave that on auto but just know where this option is your teacher may ask you to change that during the meeting for but for right now auto is absolutely fine okay then we'll move up to video just make sure you've got your your webcam selected i just have the inbuilt one here you may have a separate webcam just select that there if you find that your internet speed isn't particularly fast and is struggling a little you may want to come in here and disable the enable hd option that will bring your webcam down to standard definition and we'll just use slightly less bandwidth on your on your internet connection mine's okay so i'm going to leave that uh, enabled for now and there are all the options that you need to look at in here for now now we're going to join a meeting. Now, when you received your invite from your teacher, it will look something like this. And you've got two options of, of being able to join the meeting. You can open up your Zoom app straight away and hit join a meeting. This is where you will copy the meeting ID and we're going to paste it into our meeting ID, uh, into the meeting ID box at the top, and we're going to hit join. Okay, that's one way. The other way is you can click on this link or copy this link. I'm going to copy in this instance. I'm going to open up uh, Chrome here, and I'm going to paste that into my address bar up the top. Okay. 
So you're going to get a web page from Zoom and you're going to get this option pop up, openzoom.us. This is asking you to open uh, whether you want to allow Zoom to open up its own app. And you're going to hit openzoom.us. And then what's going to happen is it will automatically enter that ID for you. And it's going to put you into this screen here. You can close this down uh, your web browser. You don't need that open anymore. And so what this means is you are waiting for the host to start the meeting, for the teacher to start the meeting. Uh, you may have arrived slightly early or he or she may be running ever so slightly late. OK, so all you need to do is simply wait. Your teacher will let you into the meeting just as soon as he's ready to start. So I'm going to go on to my um, other Zoom app and I'm going to start this meeting and we can have a look at what actually happens. And this screen will pop up. OK, so you want to go down to the bottom here and you want to, first of all, start your video. And we're, so we're going to click that. As you can see, we've got a red line through it. So let's click on that. Now, my video started. Now, I don't have a webcam attached right now, but you will see your picture shown here. OK, so let's expand that a little. OK, now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to here. And we're going to click on turn on original sound. If you remember from our preferences settings, this is what's going to allow us to uh, turn off some of the processing that Zoom does. So we're going to turn on original sound. That will then show turn off uh, as the option, but that means we've already turned it on. OK. And then your teacher will join. Now, if they find that they're not quite hearing your instrument correctly and we want to go and change some of those audio settings, um, as we did earlier on, we can do that in two ways. We can go up to zoom.us and into preferences again, or we can simply click this little arrow here and we can select uh, audio settings. Okay. And that brings up exactly the same dialog box that we saw before, where you'll click advanced. And this is where your teacher may say, mm, let's turn off persistent background noise as well. And we'll move that to disable and we'll close that down. And then that's our sound settings done again. OK. Your teacher may want to send you uh, some text uh, over chat um, or maybe even send you a file over chat. So if you don't see the chat window, we simply click on chat over here and this will pop up. Uh, anything that your teacher sends you will pop will uh, turn up as a chat here. So if I sent a, a test message, we'll see that that's gone to everyone in the meeting room, which would in this case would just be your teacher. If your teacher sends you a file, maybe it's some uh, score or a audio file, something like that. This will show here. You just click open and save that onto your, your computer. If your teacher asks you to share your screen, perhaps you've got something you need to show or a video or something like that, this can be done and you can do that through the share screen option down here. It may be that your teacher needs to give you the uh, permission within the meeting to be able to do it, but this is how you do it if that's been done. So you've clicked share. We're on basic. If you want to share your entire desktop, you just leave it here. Uh, if you need to share the sound on your computer, make sure you click share computer sound down here and you simply hit share. That will then enable your teacher to see your computer screen. Perhaps you want to communicate something else over a whiteboard. You can select that. What that's going to do is going to give you a few options enables you to type some text, test text, like that. It will enable you to draw as well. You can get a line like that, or and an eraser to erase some of that out. OK, and to stop, you just go up to the top here and hit stop share. Other options we've got, anything under advanced. If you just need to share the audio from your screen, you go under advanced and share music or computer sound only and then hit share. But you will only do, need to do this if your teacher instructs you to. So that's all the settings that you need to change to get yourself going with Zoom. Now, when your meeting is ended, 
All you need to do is go down to the bottom button here where it says leave meeting. You click on that and it will ask you, are you sure? And you hit leave meeting. That will take you back to the home, home screen of your Zoom app and you can close that down and move on. And you will just then repeat this process when your next lesson is due. So as you can see, it's relatively straightforward to get the uh, app installed and to get yourself up and running with Zoom. The crucial thing here is to make sure that you do update those audio settings. This will ensure that you have the best experience possible uh, having your instrumental lesson over Zoom. And just a reminder, if you have uh, a MacBook or a laptop, do please use that. We found find that the sound on that is so much better. You get the audio options on your laptop and MacBook as well. Whereas on your phone or a tablet like an iPad, you don't get those audio options. So your experience is not going to be nearly as good. Uh, for those of you out there who do have an audio interface, please do do use this have that set up um, select the audio interface in those audio se settings as i was selecting for myself earlier and and use that with your teacher if you don't that's not to worry i'm not saying you, should, you need to go out and buy one of those um, but if you do own one it's a really good idea to use that with a good microphone thanks for watching do go ahead and get this installed for for yourself and we look forward to seeing you in your next lesson